Tonight marks the four-year anniversary of the Good Night Lights tradition. It started off small, just a few people pointing their flashlights toward the kids at Hasbro Children's Hospital. But as you can see right here, it has grown into just so much more. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was there tonight and joins us now from Providence with more on this display. A cold night here in Providence, but that didn't stop folks from coming out in full force to help make the fourth birthday of Good Night Lights extra special. In Providence Tuesday, there was a lot of preparation. But once the clock struck 830, the celebration began. It's a project that, that should be happening. We should be supporting the kids however we can every night, and this is a fun way to do it. Steve Brosnahan was the man who started Good Night Lights, marking its fourth birthday on Tuesday. The nightly ritual has grown to include local businesses and community members all gathering to give the kids at Hasbro a shining beacon of support. They have no idea how even one blinking light can make a difference uh, in hospitalization for a child and potentially in the life of a child or a parent who is looking out that window. Uh, wondering if the worst possible moment is is, uh, is is actually unfolding in their lives. The Waldrons are proof of that. Uh, Abigail actually was a patient at Hasbro, um, and so now we're doing the lights from the other side, um, and we know how important it is because we did it so many times. And he was like, hey, look out your window at 8.30. So on the clock hit 8.30, and like everything just went like haywire, and like <laughs> lights went everywhere. Abigail, now 12, has been cancer free for two years, but she and her younger sister Madeline won't forget viewing good night lights from the other side. It's really weird because you're usually at a window and now you're like outside like and like other people are watching you while you're doing it, not you're watching them. It feels pretty good though. It just like brought you joy no matter how you're feeling like there's good and bad days. 8.30 was always the time that you waited for and you're always like, yes, it's finally time. So are another four birthdays in the cards? Brosnahan tells me he doesn't see any signs of good night lights getting any dimmer. In Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.